on the 30th of April, EA released the much-awaited VR patch update to their WRC title. Finally, us VR enthusiasts would be able to get into the game and race in our much-beloved VR environment. Unfortunately, nothing's that simple, is it? So, when you would launch the game, it ran fine. You could see the VR menu in your headset. You'd get to the stage, hit launch, and as soon as it transitioned from 2D to VR, crash the desktop. So to save you figuring out how to fix it, to save you searching through the forums, Let's look at the quick fixes. Ultimately, what you're going to do first is disable any third party applications that affect or go into your VR environment. So for me, I have a HTTC mod that I use for mouse pointer emulators so that I can have pointers on my fingers for DCS and for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I opened the settings app, disabled it. The next application that I disabled was OpenXR Toolkit. So if you have it installed, disable the app, but also scroll down and find the WRC compatible app and deselect it. Because if it's incompatible, deselect it, the game will struggle. If you have the Pimax variant of that, you might want to consider deselecting that too. If you have anything else that's similar, deselect it if you don't need it. Then start the game. Within the game, there is only one setting so far that it seems you have to change. So once you've gone through the legal disclaimer and you've enabled VR, head to your basic graphics setting. In here, there is only one option that you need to change. Go to your upscaler, and if you have temporal selected, either turn it off or select another option. And that should be it. From here, when you then select a rally stage or you can go to the rally school, if you want to do it really quickly just to make sure it's working, you should get to the same stage starting menu. And then when you hit launch, fingers crossed, you should transition into your VR environment. After that, all that's left is to have fun. Tweak your settings, get to a graphic setting that works for you, gives you that great balance between quality and performance dialing your force feedback and get on the stage. Let me know in the comments below if this worked for you. Let me know if it didn't, because if you're still having any difficulties or trouble, we have to, as usual, work as a community to help each other through it. If this video was helpful for you, then I'd appreciate if you hit like, a subscribe would be amazing, a comment just to let me know how you've got on or any other feedback or experiences you've been through. And if you know someone else that could use the help, share. I'll see you in the next video when I hopefully will have dialed in my settings, got up to speed and can hit the stages in anger.